This video addresses North Carolina Standard 5NF1. Add and subtract fractions, including mixed numbers with unlike denominators, using related fractions. The related fractions are limited to halves, fourths, and eighths, thirds, sixths, and twelfths, and fifths, tenths, and hundredths. The focus of this video is on using benchmark numbers to make estimates when adding and subtracting fractions. When computing fractions, students tend to rely on whatever strategy is first taught. For this reason, introduction to algorithms is delayed. Rather, the primary focus should be on visualizing and conceptually understanding the addition and subtraction of fractions using models. These models could include circle models, bar models, and number lines. To promote sense-making and reasoning when adding and subtracting fractions, estimation of sums and differences is another major focus. Fifth graders estimate sums and differences of fractions using benchmark numbers. Benchmark numbers are friendly numbers that are easy to visualize and easy to compute. Benchmark numbers for standard NF1 include 0, 1 half, and 1. One reason fifth graders estimate using benchmark numbers is to predict the solution prior to adding or subtracting fractions. Let's predict the solution to this problem here. Here we know we are adding 7 twelfths plus 4 sixths. We know 7 twelfths is just a little bit more than 1 half. We also know that 4 sixths is just a little more than 1 half. Therefore, we can estimate that this problem is about one-half plus one-half, or a little more than one-half plus one-half, which is a little bigger than one. Using models to illustrate estimation is important for students' conceptual development. Let's look at this problem once more. This time, we'll use written numerals to make our estimate. Again, we are estimating the sum of seven twelfths plus four six. We know seven twelfths is just a little more than one half. We know this because it can be decomposed into six twelfths, which is equal to one half, plus another twelfth. We also know that four sixths is just a little more than one half. We know this because this can be decomposed into three sixths, which again is equal to one half, plus another sixth. Now, we can see that we can take these two halves and make one whole. We now know that our answer is just a little more than one whole. A second reason fifth graders estimate using benchmark numbers is to assess the reasonableness of the solution after adding or subtracting fractions. Take a look here. Here, a fifth grader incorrectly solved 1 fourth plus 4 eighths, stating the sum is 5 twelfths. A common error is for the students to add both the numerators and the denominators. Teaching students to make estimates after computing helps them notice when the answer is not reasonable. Estimating to assess the reasonableness of the answer here might sound like this. Hmm, well this can't be right. The sum, 5 twelfths, is less than 1 half. If one of the add-ends is already equal to 1 half, then that sum would have to be bigger than 1 half. As illustrated in this video, one goal of standard 5 NF1 is to use benchmark numbers to make estimates when adding and subtracting fractions.